Within our Secrets of the Solent project, one of our absolute key aims is to celebrate the marine wildlife and habitats of the Solent. And so we really want to be able to engage people with that wildlife. And one of the ways we've been doing that is by having our wonderful artist paint some murals all around the Solent. And they introduce people to some important marine wildlife. Yeah, altogether I've painted um, six murals, in each one in a unique, interesting location for Secrets of the Solent campaign. At Sea View on the Isle of Wight, we've got a wonderful mural of a seahorse inside its seagrass habitat. Spiny seahorse and seagrass for distillery on the Isle of Wight in the old mermaid bar. And that was really interesting because they are supporting seagrass restoration. At Hythe Pier, we have a wonderful mural of a spider crab again which is an important commercial species and one which relies on the Solent seagrass meadows. Which are painted in the old waiting room, uh, which was a beautiful glass panelled room, looking out, watching the ships go by as I was painting. And in Newport we have a picture of a harbour seal because of course the Solent supports a population of around 60 harbour seals. Is at Newport next to the library, that was a harbour seal which got a huge amount of attention. Well, virtually everybody who passed by stopped to comment on it and ask about it. So it's really having a good effect in getting people engaged in the animals that live in the Solent. We have another seahorse, a short-snouted seahorse, at Ocean Village in Southampton itself. In Ocean Village in Southampton, it was a completely different situation to Newport on the Isle of Wight. The uh, location has been chosen really well to reach the maximum number of people from all sorts of different demographics. At Langston Harbour, we've got a wonderful mural of a thresher shark. The area just to the east of the Isle of Wight is, is an internationally important hub for thresher sharks. We think it's an area where they come to breed. On the Harbour Office building, that was a challenge because it was corrugated surface in really baking heat and uh, my paint was drying before it touched the wall. And the final one is uh, this lobster on the Harbour Master's office at Hamble. I mean the locations uh, of, of all of these murals, is, they're closely related to the habitats where these creatures live. Therefore, it will make people think about the fact they live so close, even though it might not be immediately apparent. Warsash was once an absolute centre of the crab and lobster trade, and in, in the mid-1800s, up to 90,000 crabs and lobsters could be supplied a year from right here. And so, through Secrets of the Solent, we want to remind people that these species that are there we don't have maybe as many lobsters now as we used to have and we would like to restore and have more. It's uh, a new experience for us. We got a pretty distinctive stripy building and putting something on it was always going to be uh, interesting because people are pretty proud of the building and putting something that was really good and useful and of such quality um, it has been really popular. Well, what's lovely about this is it just reminds people how important it is to keep the shores clean uh, and be conscious of what goes into the water. So it's a great thing. When in my paintings I try to give um, realistic representation, I want to kind of capture the essence of what makes these creatures so special and unique. It's kind of a creative collaboration between me and the creatures that I'm painting. I'm, I'm trying to capture the spirit or the special qualities of each creature and um, trying to communicate that to people who look at the murals. Hopefully people will become uh, more inspired and care more about the creatures in their local area. People always ask multiple questions and they, they're very curious and they're very interested. It, will, it does generate uh, curiosity and hopefully then 
you know, more a desire to protect the habitat. I personally got involved with the um, Secrets of Silent project because I'm very passionate about science communication. Like all the people are really friendly. I'm having the time of my life doing this, and I'm doing something that I absolutely love. What the Wildlife Trust is doing in terms of public engagement in the Solent is just amazing, and I'm so happy and proud to be a part of that. And uh, projects like this are brilliant, I think, for public engagement because art is a universal language and it's much more accessible than statistics is, so it gets that conversation going. And I actually learned something from this project because I had no idea that we actually had um, thresher sharks in the Solent, so I learned something there. <laughs> so this really is a, is a thought-provoking piece. And, and it's just fascinated a whole load of local people, which is uh, all we wanted it to do, really. Oh yeah, it's great to hear from the Harbour Master already how much interest and engagement there's been from children and their parents to, uh, talking about the lobster and why it's here and what it means. And so it, it definitely makes a connection between people and the environment around them. We're really delighted to have been able to put these murals up with the help of our artists, of course, and it really showcases you know, the, the range of types of marine life we have. We've got fantastic mammals and fish and crustaceans, but it's important that people have that real connection with the sea, with our wildlife, and they have an idea of what is out there. It also really focuses on our wider vision for a wilder Solent. We want to bring back more wildlife, encourage the, the regrowth and restoration of habitats. And so we're hoping our mural really sends out all of those messages, reminds people what fabulous marine wildlife we have in the Solent and the things that we can do to make the marine life of the Solent much better than it is today. So here's a fantastic challenge. We would really love people to really seek out these murals, maybe see if they could go around and visit every single one of them, maybe take a picture of them with themselves, share them on social media, so that we can really get an idea that people are, are enjoying these murals and are really understanding what we're trying to do within Secrets of the Soul.